Hi guys, it is Life is Forces Your Love, and I am doing a briar sale trade video. There's a quick overview, and now I'm going into detail. So, these four are my for sure for sale horses. First, I have the Best Choice Arabian on the Sham Mold. He is in fairly good condition. He does have some black marks, and he does have some shiny marks, and some rubs. He's not, they're not like obvious, horrible, see them across from the rim flaws. He's a good shelf horse, you could even probably photoshow him. So I feel like if you really wanted to get that mark off his stocking off, it would come off. So yeah, there's him. He is 20. All of my horses are, like, best offer, so if you see something you like and you can't afford it, feel free to offer, but obviously I'm not selling you just a dream for 20 bucks. It ain't happening. Next I have Cedric. I would say he's LSQ. He looks like he has a shiny mark on his butt, but he doesn't. That's not for real. That's just my camera being weird. I would say he's LSQ. He's actually quite nicely flea He's got lots of little flecks, I'm sure you can see. No ear rubs. Face is fine. And he has his stand. He fits fairly loosely in his stand, like you can't pick him up and leave the stand attached to him. It will fall off, but he stands fine. Next is S. Jester Dream. She is mint, mint, mint. And LSQ. Or at least in my opinion. Also very dusty. I need to dust, apparently. She has no hoof herbs. She has no ear rubs. She's pretty much perfect. I'm asking $60 for her, and Cedric is 40 So 60 for S. Jester Next I have little Ricky Rocker. He is PSQ. He does have some shiny marks. Like on his shoulder. And there and on his butt. And he has a scratch in his plastic that feels kind of rough. Right there. So there's a rough spot there. But he still is in pretty good shape. If you want, really, you could probably take him in a novice live show class, and he'd do well. But, there's him. He is... I'm asking 25 or 30 for him. So those are my first share horses that are in good shape. And then over here, I have four bodies. Big Ben, and I will take his boots off for you. I'm just too lazy to bother with it now. No breaks. He's just got some, like, various crayon marks. His socks are disgusting. All that good stuff. Stud spider, smooth copper. He has some fairly obvious black marks on this side. And on his, the other side of his barrel. No breaks. Both his ears are intact. He'd be a good, like, etchy victim. I may etch him myself if he doesn't sell. Then there's the a man of war body on the, the spectacular no. General Lee's Traveler is his name. He has black marks along his body. His halter does not line up at the front. So he is not molded completely accurately, I guess. He has lots of black marks on this side as well. So yeah, he's a body. He'd be good for being chopped up. This guy, I am calling him a body. He's actually not really that bad. I would call him PSQ, but I also know it's a not very popular mold, so he's only $5. All that's really wrong with him is he has some black marks. He's the Pony of the America mold, and this is just Justin. So those are my bodies. And they are priced at $12 for Big Ben, 
ten dollars for him, eight and five. So there's all those. And these guys are my maybes. I have my Prince Jester. He is LSQ, in my opinion. He does actually have some very nice shading. He looks like he's black, but he's... You can kind of see he's actually a very deep liver chestnut, I think. Or very nice shaded black, depending on how you look at it. But he does have very nice rich red shading, and you can really see it in his mane right there. He is $35. And then I have the Palomino Color Crazy Full with and her mom, the Buckskin Marabella Stallion from the Color Crazy Treasure Hunt. They're actually the variation with the full has less white and she has no white markings. She is in good condition. She does have some ear rubs. The full does not have ear rubs. I think she has, yeah, she has a couple little, like, flecks on her body that don't match up. And some shiny marks. And a mark right there. I'm asking 50 for them because they are of the variation, but I am negotiable, so... I'll work with you. I'm only maybe selling those if I get the right offer for them. And then I have Enchanted Forest. Oh, again, a maybe. He's very nicely shaded. He's got great dappling. That looks like a dark mark, but it's not. It's just a shiny mark. He doesn't have ear rubs. He's just a little dusty at the moment. Again, very nice dappling on both sides of him. And his legs are fairly straight for this mold. I know sometimes the front legs like to warp for whatever reason, but he is pretty good. The next one I have is... Oh, an Enchanted Forest is 35. My camera doesn't want to focus. Here we have Madison Avenue. She is LSQ. I don't think there's anything wrong with her. Oh, yeah, no. That was just a trick of the light. She's very metallic. <laughs> She doesn't have any ear rubs. Well, she has one. I, I lied. She has one ear rub. But that's it. So that's her, and she is 45. And then finally, the last horse I have is a Fleet Alex on the Lonesome Glory mold. He is probably PSQ. You could probably show, photo show him. I don't think he's LSQ. He does have some ear tip rubs. He does have some shiny marks. He doesn't have black marks, though. At least that I could find. And that's him. And he is... I'm asking twenty-five, thirty for him as well. So just another quick run through of prices. 20, 40, 60, 30. 45 for Madison Avenue, 50 for the Marin Full Set, 35 for Enchanted Forest, 25, 30 for him, 25, no, 35 for Prince Jester, 15, no, 12, sorry, $12 for Big Ben, $10 for him, $8 and $5. So that is everybody. I also have a bunch of stable mates that I am willing to sell if somebody is interested. So if you're looking for stable mates, feel free to message me. Thanks for watching. Rules and, and shipping and stuff will be in the description. Bye guys!